Hi, this is Michael from StarBusinessWorld.com and I wanted to do a quick recap video today about uh, what I mean by accommodation and what I mean by virgins. Uh, yesterday I made a video about the aperture rule and I quickly men mentioned these uh, concepts because they are very important to understand how the aperture rule uh, functions and how it takes effect on the visual system. And if you don't understand accommodation and virgins, you're not going to understand how many of these uh, vision therapy exercises take effect on a patient and how they improve the visual system. So I wanted to make this short video for future reference. So when I mention accommodation and virgins, you can just watch this video and uh, be on your way. Uh, so to recap what I said yesterday, vision is actually a sensory motor process and we all know that vision or eyesight is a, a sense. It's a very, uh, people emphasize very often that it's a sense and we see and it's a visual processing. But just as important or even more important is the motor aspect of this uh, sensory motor process. Because if you're not pointing your eyes correctly at what you want to see or your lens is not adjusted by the ciliary muscles uh, to the right uh, thickness, then th the light rays are not focused on the retina in a, in a correct way. So just very short, what is accommodation and what is virgence? Uh, so I still have my chart from yesterday. So this is my version of an eyeball. And here's the eye lens in the eyeball. And here are the ciliary muscles uh, that attach the eye lens to the eye. And then you have the outer film of the eye, uh, outer film of the eye uh, here, which is the cornea. Uh, and it, that also plays a role in astigmatism, but I'm not going to go into astigmatism right now. But just, uh, so the more aspect of accommodation is that these little ciliary muscles, the muscles, they adjust the thickness of the lens, they stretch or uh, relax these muscles, so the eye lens uh, becomes more uh, yeah, thin or thicker and uh, uh, light rays are projected onto the retina uh, according to the needs of the visual situation. Uh, so that is accommodation, that is the uh, adjustment of the eye lens so the light rays are uh, projected correctly on the retina. And that's what I mean by accommodation. And it's very, uh, it's very uh, often talked about in vision training uh, as a process. So if you don't understand it, you, this is it. And uh, when they talk about this, this is it. And then the other uh, vision function they often uh, discuss in uh, vision science or uh, vision therapy papers is virgins. And so there's a lot of different eye move movements you can discuss but we're going to keep it simple and let's just say that all eye movements binocular, monocular, uh, smooth pursuits, uh, saccades uh, let's just call it virgins uh, and they are that is uh, performed by the extraocular muscles I have drawn here uh, and there are uh, I think five on each eye or attached to each eye, maybe six, I don't remember exactly. And they are controlled by the brain and uh, the message is sent through the cranial nerves. And three cranial, so three of the 12 cranial nerves are uh, directly invo uh, are involved in uh, ocular movement. So not, not seeing, but just ocular movement. So it's one in four ocular nerves, uh, cranial nerves are involved in ocular movements. So it's a big deal. It's a big deal, not only in movement, uh, in terms of movement, but also proprioception, which is another discussion. So accommodation, adjustment of the eye lens, virgence, movement of the eyes. And these processes need to be in sync to have a clear image. So this is uh, important for, to, for uh, conceiving a clear image on the retina and this virgence is important for looking at what you want to look at basically and with both eyes preferably 
because otherwise you you have confusion or uh, you need to go suppressing the second eye or you uh, have uh, yeah contradicting input which is very bad and it leads to uh, problems down the road in the visual process and the visual uh, yeah, the visual perception in the perception in the brain. So this was my uh, short video about virgins and accommodation and I will use this for future reference when I talk about um, virgins and accommodation. And uh, my next video, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, I don't know, will be about these uh, rapid alternating goggles like occlusion goggles or flickering goggles and how they uh, are used in vision therapy as kind of an anti-suppression tool, tool. Uh, and I will talk about it uh, next time. So I hope you will uh, learn more about vision therapy with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and goodbye.